we've had a, a really a good trip uh, this week. And um, just visiting with constituents and learning about what uh, concerns people have and uh, what they want to talk about. In particular reason it was lumber business you mean? No, you know, this is a significant industry for Pennsylvania and for this part of Pennsylvania. And this is a thriving company that, that uh, is doing well and has its challenges and issues. I just wanted to learn more about the business. In, in browsing your website, I noticed that you were you're still trumpeting, uh, <laughs> uh, still trumpeting tax reform. Yeah, yeah. Does that, does that realistically have a chance of going through? Oh, it certainly does. Yeah, actually, I think chances are better than even that we will do tax reform. Now, there's a, still an open question about how ambitious we can be and how sweeping it is, and that's something that work is underway, and it's going to be the front burner item when we get back next week. Now, it was said that you couldn't do tax reform without health care reform. Yeah, well, that was never true. Uh, look, it would have been better to get the health care reform done. Uh, and then move on to tax reform, but uh, tax reform was never actually dependent on doing uh, health care reform first. Uh, by the way, I think we can't give up on health care reform either. Uh, we had a big setback. I was extremely disappointed that we didn't you know, make progress back in July, but that's not over either. Okay, and what about your small business tax reform? It'll be, it'll, it'll be very much a central part of the tax reform very, very important part would be to allow small businesses, they are taxed as what we call pass-through, so you should organize not as publicly traded C-Corps, but rather as partnerships and uh, you know, other, other organizations. The tax reform is definitely going to be designed to help them be more competitive. And what about deregulation for small businesses? And that's an ongoing process. Um, we have had 14 bills where we've been able to use legislation to repeal ill-conceived regulation from the Obama uh, uh, era, and the president has signed those into law. There's another whole category of regulations that the president's been able to uh, roll back through uh, executive orders. Uh, that's going to be an ongoing process because we're really wildly over-regulating. It seems like President Trump is negotiating some better trade deals for the country? Well, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure about that yet. I don't, I don't view the world the same way the president does with regard to trade. I, I think trade is good for America and uh, it elevates our standard of living, uh, both when we're importing and exporting. Um, the administration seems to see it differently. So we've yet to see whether they'll be negotiating better trade agreements or just different trade agreements. Uh, we'll see what, we'll see what uh, they come up with. All right. Okay.